All right, we've been talking about a lot of the little stuff. Equipping the Minuteman, right? We've been talking about a little, a lot of little stuff, a lot of little tips and tricks for you guys. Tactical stuff, right? <clears throat> Tactical mindset of the irregular forces, the Minuteman, the gorilla, right? So I just got done talking about these rubber arm straps. It doesn't matter how you take it off, you just drag it off, right? But when you put it on, you know, you go ahead and two fingers, right? Put it in there and just roll it all the way up. Watch the last video if you didn't see it. I show you exactly how to do it. Right. So we talked about those armbands. You could use this rubber inner tube for a lot of things. I got me an eyeglass strap right here. So I'm going to, in another video, I'm going to go over this eyeglass strap and I'll go over some other stuff for you. Alright, we'll have a little table and I'll put the camera right on some stuff and we'll, we will talk about that. Alright. Okay, so what other little things do we do we want to talk about as a minute man, right? An irregular, a gorilla, right? You're going to be a, an insurgent. You're going to be in a, a gorilla force, okay? That's what they're going to label you as. They're going to label you as an insurgent. Coffee. All right, so... These little things will help you to, to have your act together. These are, these are all little tips and tricks, right? So lots of knowledge from over the years. All right, so let's talk about this stuff right here. So as a, as a guerrilla warfare proponent, uh, minute man, minute woman, whatever, right? Okay. You, you're the irregular. By day, you're doing your job, whatever, right? Unless it's day off or unless you have to be called away to deal, to deal with, you know, an oppressive force, okay? Then, you're gonna you're gonna dress accordingly and you will deal with the situation accordingly now what I have here these are called boot bands boot blousers trouser blousers enhanced blouser blah 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 right this particular ones here these are in like a coyote brown now I got olive drab green as well. So I get I keep several of these with my stuff. And so this is obviously autumn and winter, right? I just grab these. But these and I like to put them on the outside. Okay, I like to put them on, on the outside. And why is that? Because I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now why that is. I put them on on the outside, and uh, what I do is I like to wrap my trouser leg tight down near the ankle, and then I will I will hold it. This hook side. I will hold it all together. With that hook side. And then I go around, I'll go all the way around the ankle, and then I'll close it up like that, right? Now, this is, my toes are up here, okay, so when I put this on, so that way this, this is facing backward, it's facing to the back, so when I'm moving through stuff, it's going by that, and it isn't accidentally grabbing onto it, you see what I'm saying? Now, why do I 
do that instead of just tucking in my trousers into my boots. Well, number one, you may not be able to tuck your trousers into your boots and keep them there anyway because your boots may be kind of short, right? There's kind of a trend for shorter boots. They may be kind of short. They may not want to stay in there anyway. Now, following the path of least resistance, stuff will want to get down in your boot if you tuck your trousers in. Okay? It will just slide right because gravity goes down. Okay? Down. Not up. So crap out there is going to get on your pant leg your trouser leg, okay, and it is going to go down. It's since your trousers are going down into your boots, whatever that crap is, is going to follow it right down into your boots, okay. So when you have the your trousers uh, secured to the outside of the boot, down around the ankle, it will just go down. It will hit your trouser and it will follow down and go off of your boot and onto the ground. Okay, whatever it is, whether it's sticker burrs or whether it's leeches or what have you. Okay, you're in a very wet environment like a jungle. You generally, <clears throat> the 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 generally concerned about leeches and things like that, okay? Now, the thing is, you don't want to wear socks in your boots, okay? So just on the outside and no socks in the boots, no underwear, no t-shirt. You don't want any underwear, really. Okay, in that environment. That's just a whole other subject. Anyway, but the subject at hand is keeping stuff out of the boots, including insects. You don't want insects getting up into your trousers. Okay, if these are tight enough, they will keep it. They will keep your trousers tight enough to your boots that stuff will not come up. All right. Now in the French, we old. French boots, they had a couple of buckles, and the trouser, trousers have elastics in them already. You ain't going to mess with that. You pull them on, and they go between those two, two area of the buckles, and it stays there. Keeps the crap out, mostly. But these are, these are tighter. That's the best way to go. Now, let's talk about your face. Let's talk about your hands, all right? We talk about a minute man. We talk about guerrilla, right? We talk about guerrilla, guerrilla warfare, a guerrilla soldier. You can't necessarily run around with cam cream all over your face. Sometimes you got to ditch stuff. It blend right back in with everybody else. You ain't got time to use a little dish soap in a in a wet wipe, whatever. Scrub all scrub all that crap off your face. You don't necessarily have time for that. You might only have time to pull a mask off, okay, or pull the gloves off. Ditch your web gear somewhere. And come back and get it later. You know, little caches, hidey holes, put your stuff in. Now what I got here is I have a tiger stripe hood, balaclava, right? Mask. So, goes pretty good right there, right? Goes pretty good. This will go good with my other lighter tigers also. Anyway, so you pull that mask off, and ta-da, your face, your face is normal, 
right? Ta-da! Voila! Right? There it is. Okay. Consider the mask. Consider gloves. We talk about covering our extremities, right? We don't want to be seen. Invisibility and being quiet, those are our big things. Is a minute man. We want to be invisible. In order to be invisible, first of all, we have to be camouflaged in some way, form, or fashion. And then we also have to be quiet. That means we have to be verbally quiet, and we have to be quiet with all of our kit. Everything has to be quiet. Because you get given away by your appearance or or your or the sound that you make not only could you die yourself but that will possibly get everyone else killed that is with you because you gave you gave it away that you were there so that's one one thing that you have to think about you cannot just think about yourself. You have to be thinking about everybody who's with you. So you're, you are got to have your crap together. you got to have your crap together. And you got to check each other before you do what you need to do. Okay? You should have a team leader, squad leader, patrol leader, whatever you got going on. Alright? You should have that. You should have an assistant, possibly, if you got enough guys. You're going to have a main and an assistant, okay? Be, be, they'll be checking you. Make you jump up and down a little bit, see if you make any noise. Listen to me. The only thing you hear is these wooden floors creaking a little bit as I bounce up and down. Because I'm an old fat guy, right? So anyway... You want to be quiet, because being quiet and being properly concealed is the fine line between breathing and no longer breathing. Okay? Being quiet means controlling your breathing as well. Sometimes you be so close to somebody that you got to, like, hold your breath. And barely breathe. You get it? You get what I'm saying? It's a fine line between life and death. Is a minute man. Is a gorilla. Do not engage a larger force. Larger hostile force, you don't engage them. You just don't. Don't be dumb. Be smart. You gotta pick and choose your battles. You can live to fight another day, but you can't die and come back again. You can't. You got one physical life. And others may be depending on you. You always gotta be thinking not only of yourself, but those other people around you. Always. I got one more minute left. I'm going to come back in another video and we're going to discuss a few more little subjects. So I will see you there.